good Monday morning guys in the rain and welcome back to another vloggage episode. So I have just popped into my doctor's to get myself a doctor's appointment and it is 21 minutes past 8 and I am now going down to Costa to get myself a cup of coffee. breakfast because I am starving so I'm going to do that just to excuse the noise for a minute um, so yeah that's what I'm doing the fucking stupid receptionist yeah you can get through there love you haven't got a tank you've got a fucking Nissan um, she said to me I'll take a seat and the other receptionist is telling everyone to come back. So I, uh, I was like, no, I'm not sitting here waiting. There's seven in front of me. I think not, love. I think fucking not. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I'm going to shoot down to Costa, grab myself a coffee and a takeaway cup. And if I'm not finished, I can just skedaddle and some porridge. And then I can just... But I'm ready. So, oh. why is it Monday morning, isn't it? It's just Monday morning. But anyway, I'm going to determine that this week is not going to be stressful. It is not going to be a stressful week. It is going to be a peaceful week. So, I hope you all had a lovely weekend, guys. And I hope it was a good one for you put up my new bed so and I'm loving my new bed it's a lot smaller a lot more compact and better I don't keep whacking my fucking knee over the other side of the road there's a good boy uh, every time I walk into my room so I'm loving that so this is what's happening today and that's about it for today um, so yeah I will catch up with you a bit later guys change of plan guys I came home because the traffic to get down to Costa was mental and I didn't want to get stuck in it um to then not be back in time for my hospi uh, hospital and my doctor's appointment so I decided to come home so I'm just going to have some Weetabix that's sweetener not sugar by the way if you're thinking fuck me Chloe and a cup of coffee so I'm just going to sit this is my new bed so it's like a hospital bed but I liked it, like the old fashioned hospital beds. So Amy has mailed at me the minute I came in the door to tell me that she's had a snuggle with Nana. She's had Nana snuggle. So I'm gonna sit here, quickly wall for this down, go back. So I'll catch up with you later guys, when I've seen the dock. Most definitely Monday. Most definitely Monday. Happy Monday, people. I've just got back from the doctors. Oh, I went about my headaches. Oh, mate, these headaches. Yeah, baby, you know, don't you? Mummy's got bad headaches. She's got a real bad headache today. I spilled coffee all over me tablets. Look at that. Yeah. I'm doing so well. Monday. Happy Monday. I've got my dad's tablets, good job he's at the doctor's with my mum, so I'm just putting the drying up away, draining away, um, so I'm home, it's pissing down here, I don't know if it's pissing down where you are, but that's how it goes, um, so he's upped my migraine tablets again, um, he's quite a nice doctor though, the one I saw, I'm willing to go up to the maximum dose, but then I said to him, if it's still no better after I finish the maximum dose, then something else needs to be done. Because it's literally driving me mental now. Um, so, yeah, I left my phone at home. So I had to use the phone at the doctor's. I said to one of the receptionists that I know quite well, I was like, look, my uncle's really ill at the moment. Like, my mum's going to panic if she can't get hold of me. Can I use your phone or can you just ring my mum and say that I've left my phone at home. She's like, yeah, no problem, Chloe. I was like, I'm gonna die. 
she was like, oh, don't worry about it. So she rung my mum and said, Chloe's left her phone at home. She's here. She's safe and sound. Don't worry. So that was nice of them. Um, so yeah, it is half past ten and it feels like it should be about ten o'clock at night because I've been up since seven. So I'm just going to dry these up. I'm going to see my uncle quick. My mum's cut his hair, so he looks a lot better, love him. Um, I'm going to put these away. I'm going to sort in me out some food. Aren't we Babsy Boos? Oh, Babsy. Sort her out some dinner. And then I'm going to, I don't know, I've got things to do, man. Like, I've got a letter to write. I've got bloody um, blog post to write. But you know when you just can't be asked today? Just CBA. Can't be asked today. And I feel rough. So I don't know. But I thought I'd just update you what the doctor said. Just went about my headaches. So nothing exciting. But there you go. So I will catch up with you later on. Good evening guys, today has been a Monday, um, so <laughs> that's what I want to do today, anyway, um, fluff all over me, why have I got fluff on me, that's how I feel today, um, so last time I caught up with you I was putting the ocean drying away um i came home from the doctors i had the worst headache like it wasn't even a headache it was a migraine so i came home put the washing up away excuse me took a migraine tablet put some pajamas on and laid on the bed because i felt ill my parents came home and I think I went and sat in the front room with them and I was then proceeded to be put to bed <laughs> because I felt so freaking ill um, and I must have passed out for two hours because I woke up, my mum wasn't here, my dad was here, I was like where's mum, he was like oh she's at EMS, I was like why what's happened? She was like, he was like, nothing, don't panic. Um, the physio's come to see him. I was like, oh, you should have woke me, I'd have gone. He was like, no, you're not well. Um, but everything's fine with my uncle. Um, then my mum came back. Then I went back to bed because I felt ill again. And then woke up and it's not been too bad. Um, but oh my God, I felt so ill. I felt sick. I felt so ill with it. Like... Oh, my dad made me a hot water bottle and I just passed out for two hours so um, yeah it was not a good day and it's I mean it's a bit better now so um, yeah had some tea and I've just chilled so I've got a really good book which is this one Claire Macintosh let me lie it's really good I'm on page 152 really good I have a cat on the end of the bed she's just come up and demanded a cuddle so. um, new bed it's very comfortable so yeah but it's been a bit of a Monday so I'm gonna start my new tablet up my new tablet says from tomorrow wrote it on my calendar hopefully tomorrow um, if my headache doesn't come back which I'm hoping it doesn't and my mum goes out with her friend then I'm gonna go out with my dad for a cup of coffee and I've got bread time bargains I'm doing a few bits I'll pick up the prescription from my uncle oh, drop that into my uncle and stuff so got a few bits to do tomorrow so yeah I hope you all have a great Monday and it wasn't as bad as mine and I will see you bright and squirrely tomorrow morning see you in the morning guys 
good Tuesday morning guys it is just gone 20 to 9 and oh god I look divine this morning um I'm just waiting for the bathroom to be free just had some breakfast I had shreddies this morning and a cup of tea um Emmy's just cleaned me she cleaned my hand for me so I haven't got to wash that this morning she's laying on the cushion on the sofa cleaning she does love clean because I'll be my cat. Um, she slept with me most of the night on the bed. She's got to this habit that if you don't wake up when she comes up and puts her nose on your nose to feed her, she will now put her paw on your cheek with just one claw out. Like, as if say, wake up, mum, wake up, I want my dinner. And then if I don't wake up, because I do get up and feed her, but not until like we get up. Excuse me. So my, she'll go into my mum and she licks my mum's ear. <laughs> bugger. She's a bugger. She's a bugger. But she's happy now because she's had her breakfast. So um, the plan today feel a lot better than I did yesterday. I'm very tired, but you know, no different there. Um, going out with my dad today. Um, Going to home bargains, I love home bargains. Um, and I'm just gonna go and get coffee, pop in to see my uncle, yeah, just spend some time with the daddy bear. So that'll be nice. Um, nothing too strenuous. So, uh, my mum's going out with her friend. Um, so, excuse me. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for today. Um, going to get a frame for my print that I didn't show you on the vlog but it's on my Instagram so I'll show you that this afternoon so yeah that's the plan for today and hmm, I'm really loving this blush palette at the moment I've had it for ages um, should get rid of it really it's the makeup revolution and it's the Sugar and spice. Oh, that is in it. Sugar and spice. And if I'm going for like a no, not my no makeup makeup, but like just a natural look, then I like the first the these two. So this one and the one below it. Just like as like a like a and they're like more wintry colours. But as you can see, there's like loads of like bright colours in it as well but yes these two on my cheeks like just to give me a bit of colour but that's what I put on yesterday and I really liked it so I'll do it again so yeah anyway I'll let you go and I'll catch up with you throughout the day see you later guys it is 10 to 1 I'm sitting in the car outside home bargains dad's gone down to Iceland because I don't feel too good um so I'm just sitting in the car. <sighs> Home bargains is real dangerous, guys. Tell you. So we've been to the range as well. Dangerous. Um, I didn't buy much in the range. I only bought the sticky stuff remover. My mum wanted that. So yeah. Um, I think we're going home after this. So yes. I just don't feel 100%. I didn't feel well yesterday either. So, um, so yeah, not much going on. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all having a great Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Uh, it's quite chilly here today. My uncle's prescription was fucked up waiting for the doctor to ring again because he just cropped it up from yesterday. So I think he's prescribed the wrong tablet. Um, so yeah, I'm waiting to speak to him. My mum's out with a friend. So, but me and my dad always have such a good laugh when I when we go out with him. So yeah, I think we're gonna go home after this. Uh, so yeah, I hope you're having a good Tuesday. Um, and I'll catch up with you. Catch up with you later. Oh my god, he's just gone like a cub.
look at the state of me good afternoon guys so it is quarter to five um me and my dad didn't get back until about half past one um quarter to two so we was late back i am so hungry dad's cooking dinner we're having stir fry but we're so i'm so hungry we literally it's too late for lunch so i've literally had a packet of crisps and a bowl of shreddies all day so i'm hungry so i'm hungry and a cup of tea so i'm going to show you what i got from home bargains and i bought my frame today to frame my print which i will also show you because i haven't shown you that so that's what i'll show you um what i got today there's a few bits that i can't show you because all will become clear when i do my other video um so yeah i'll flip you around and show you what i got um from home bargains and hobbycraft um they are the two places that i spent the most money mm. so the things i bought from home bargains first so i bought last time i went to home bargains i bought candles and i'm absolutely in love with the scent so i decided to buy the reed diffuser which is sea salt and cotton and i just want everything in my whole house to smell like this so i bought the reed diffuser i think this was about i don't even know i didn't even look at the price to be honest because i just needed it so my reed diffusers run out and i've got a stupid shitty little one over there you can see the stick sticking out and it smells vile so but i'm going to use it up so it doesn't smell vile it just smells it's called fresh linen but if that's what my linen smelled like i wouldn't be using the fabric softener anymore so i bought one of these so that then i bought the giant big candle um and this burns up to 95 hours so yeah i bought this which is like the dupe isn't it for the big old yankee candles and yeah it's just a single wick candle from wickford and co and oh my god I said to the woman at the checkout oh, i can smell that she said do you like this scent i'll take it you do from how much but i was like if you ever stop selling this scent i'm gonna hunt down the person that makes these and i'm gonna if you ever stop making this i'm gonna hunt you down because i just adore it oh god i can smell it it's just so strong and smells amazing so yeah i bought one of those the big arsed one and then i bought two of the small ones as well so you can see how obsessed i am i've got the um i bought apple and raspberry one at the moment it's burning but it just doesn't smell as strong as this these do so yes these if you're in home bargains sit have get your nostrils around the sea salt and cotton and see what you think so i bought two of those i bought this little basket as well so you, if you watched my last, sorry, if you watched my last vlog with the home bargains haul, you see I bought the bigger version of this for my dressing box. So I just, hi me, I just bought the little version to keep my candles in. So these are what I bought last time, the vanilla and cashmere, which are not bad. They're not bad, but I prefer the other ones and the big arsed tree lights. These are lovely. They're not unscented, but they are big and they burn for like four uses these are nice as well these are by wickford and co the vanilla and cashmere these smell nice as well but i prefer the sea salt and cotton but yeah i've got the basket the little basket to keep this all tidy in but the big ass candle doesn't quite fit in so yeah then i bought some febreze fabric refresher and i got the blossom and breeze um just to spray on my bed in between um washes but i wash my bed in every week so this to do every day just to make it smell nice when you get in bed at night so yeah and you can use this on bedding sofas curtains pet beds things like that so i picked up one of those and yeah let me show you my prints that i ordered so i ordered this off a lady off instagram there's her Instagram handle, so graphic design. Um, and yeah, this is what I ordered. That's an A4 print and it says books, cats, coffee is all I need. And there's some paw prints and it's in the hollow graphic 
print and I paid 11 99 for this print and it's a custom made print um, let me get all the bump out apart from that one I don't want to see that so yeah there is her Instagram handle and Facebook if you're interested and her website so go and give her a follow and she does greetings cards prints invitations all of that jazz and there is a thank you 15 offer on your next off online order if you are interested guys so yeah so yeah there's a there's my print so that's what i've been looking for a frame for so me and my dad popped to Hobbycraft today. So I picked up one of these, which is just a border, black border, and it was £3.50 because all of the frames had white borders. So this is the frame I went for. It's just silver, which I think will go really nice with the holographic print, and it's just uh, got a border in it, but I'm going to take out the white border and put the black border in which the lady said you could do so and this frame was 10 pounds so i didn't think that was too bad for the size of it so yeah i got this frame and this is gonna go in my room so i'm very happy with that so so yeah that's everything that i bought today so yeah i'm very pleased with my print i've had that for a while now but i just haven't got round to getting the frame so as we were going down to where hobbycraft is today i thought i'm gonna go in there and i took the print with me so that i could match up to the sizes and stuff so yeah i'm very um pleased with that yeah pleased with my candle purchases i was thinking oh they're not gonna have any of those white candles because i love them so much i was like they're not gonna have any but they did so yeah hope you enjoyed that little haul segment guys um yeah so a little bit of a haul segment for you good evening guys coming with you to sign off it is about five past eight um you need to sleep on a blanket <laughs> Are you sleeping? You are. I'm sleeping. Um, I'm just gonna go and make a cup of tea. Started a new series tonight on Netflix called Seven Seconds. It's really good. Um. So yeah, that's all about what I've got to tell you so far. Um, I'm gonna go and read my book. Claire Macintosh, Let Me Lie. Really good. Um, that's why I'm very bloody, bloody brilliant. Um, tomorrow my uncle's going for a blood test at the hospital. My mum's going to do that one tomorrow. She's going to take him to that, well, she's going on uh, hospital transport with him. And my dad's going to meet her at the hospital. So that's tomorrow. And then Thursday he's got to go to the chemo nurses at the hospital on Thursday, so I'm gonna take it like me go on the ambulance with him for that one. So it gives my mum a day off from sort of going to the hospital with him and so my mum and dad can spend a bit of time together. So I'm gonna do that with my uncle on Thursday. So it gives my mum and dad a bit of time and gives them a break. So and then Friday I've got counselling. So yes. Um so that's what's going on so I tomorrow the plan for me is I'm gonna go and do a blog post tomorrow I think and get another one planned so that's the plan for tomorrow um, and yeah that's about it really um, so yeah that's the plan for tomorrow so, as always, I will catch up with you in the morning. See you in the morning, guys. Good hump day, guys. Look at the state of me. Sorry about the state of me. Um, it is nearly half past eight on hump day. Um, hello, baby. You come to see us? Um, 
I have just had a cup of tea and some breakfast. I am, my mum's taken my uncle for his blood test this morning, so they've gone out early, bless them. Mm. He's laying in bed. Um, I've just dried up and had a cup of tea and I've just got to sort Emmy's water out in her bowl. Chopped her some food for the rest of the day and then I'm just going to go and have a shower. Excuse me. Um, I'm just going to go and have a shower and then I'm going to go out, get my uncle's antidepressant from the doctors, drop that off at his house. Then I'm going to go and do a blog post this morning because my blog's been severely neglected with all this going on, quite rightly so, but I need to get that up and get that going and try and plan another one if I can. Um, so I want to try and bash through that this morning. Um... So yeah, that's the plan for this morning. Um, I don't feel the greatest today, if I'm honest. I feel a bit low mood-wise. So um, a bit low mood-wise, I'm a bit tired and I'm in a lot of pain. But I know that if I stay in the house, I won't do anything. I'll be really unproductive. I'll just pick up my book, which is not being unproductive, I know. But... I will just lay on the bed and I won't do anything and I don't think that's going to help my mood. So I feel like if I was to get out and do my blog, I will enjoy doing that once I get going and it's going to boost my mood a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do and I'm not going to be out all day so I'll be able to chill this afternoon. So that's the plan. Um... So I will catch up with you sporadically throughout the day, maybe do a little time lapsey type thing like I did last time. Um so yeah. Emmy's left paw prints on my blanket, which looks incredibly cute. Um so yeah, I'm gonna go and have a shower and I'll catch up with you when I'm looking a little bit more respectable than right now. Guys, I've just got I'm gonna go to McDonald's today instead of Costa because coffee's cheaper, basically. I'm gonna go there and do my blog and all of that stuff. I've just dropped my pill, my uncle's pills into him, and they're still waiting for the ambulance. So anyway, I'm gonna go and do my blog and write my letter to my friend if I finish my blog and everything. And that's it today. Pretty much it. Been having a look in pound stretcher. Um, yeah. So just arrived. Here. It's so mild today. It is so freaking mild. So, yeah, that's what's going on today. So, I'm going to go and get a cup of coffee and get vlogging. <laughs>
guys. I'm just going down to get my mother, bless her. Um, I was, I've got stories to tell you, right? So it's five past one anyway, I'm just going down to get my mum who's been to the hospital with my uncle today and I'm doing tomorrow. So I was in McDonald's vlogging, uh, vlogging, blogging, doing, writing my blog, all of that jazz. Um, sitting upstairs so it's really quiet, I thought oh lush, you know, no one about. Breakfast rush had just finished. Sitting there with my little coffee, vlogging away. It's two youngish lads come in, probably a bit younger than me. I'm 31 this year, probably about 25. Anyway, so they're sitting on the, like I'm here in this booth, they're sitting there on that booth. And they're waiting for their, like you can do table service in McDonald's now, can't you? So they're waiting for their table service. Oh, you're a bit wonky, sorry. Waiting for their table service to come from the woman. Right. Sorry, there's speed bumps around my road, so sorry. Um, so I just casually looked up <laughs> one of them is on Tinder right I think it's Tinder I don't use dating apps anyway so he's they're talking and I can kind of hear what they're saying and he's like scrolling like is it left or right I don't know and he's like going through all these girls and he's going to his mate, oh, she's a proper minga, oh, she's fit, oh, she, oh what, what, what I would like to do to her. And I think, so I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, now, you know I'm sitting there, but yet you're still saying all these really, like, awful things about some of these girls. And I'm thinking, I can't believe you're doing that. Like, in a public place as well. If you was at your mate's house or in the pub, with a, a load of other mates, I could kind of understand. You're in McDonald's for fuck's sake, like. Well then, you're in the middle of McDonald's. There were some kids around as well, like on the middle table. Where there was a little boy, and you're going, "Oh yeah, what I would do to her," and everything. I thought, "Oh, I'll fucking grow up!" Like, and I thought. You know, maybe it's just my age, I don't know, because they were definitely younger than me. And then in the next breath, he's talking about his granddad. And he's saying, oh, my granddad's really ill. And I thought, yeah, if your granddad could eat, you know, he'd probably, probably lump you one, mate. He'd probably fucking lump you one. And I just couldn't believe what I was hearing. And I thought, if that is the generation, like my generation and younger, well world's going to be a pretty poor place in a few years time if that's what they think about women if that's what they think about women because I know for a fact that when I was that age me and my girlfriends did not sit there and that's what we we didn't sit around and that say that's the kind of things we say about blokes do you know what I mean because that's not what we would say I was just really disgusted and I thought you could see I was sitting there and you could, uh, uh, my, my face must have given it away because then they stopped talking because I, I must have just been like, I can't believe what you're saying. And then they changed the subject and then he started talking about his granddad's fucking stair lift. And I thought, yeah, I bet your granddad, if he was sitting here right now, I'd whack you over the head, mate. Because that's fucking disgusting the way you're talking about women. Like, have some respect, you know, on Tinder or not. And I've got nothing against people that go on Tinder. I'm absolutely fucking nothing against people that go on Tinder. Nothing against any kind of dating app at all. Absolutely nothing against any kind of dating app. Actually, at all. And I think that's fucking disgusting. What they were saying about them girls. Like, have some respect. But anyway, I just thought I'd tell you because... I thought that was fucking disgusting, but yeah, so, but anyway, I got my blog done, and uh, yeah, so I'm just, the ambulance has just pulled up to drop my uncle off, so I'll catch you in a bit, like, guys, but I was shocked, my shocked was shocked, it was. Oh, look at that lighting. I see the light. Look at the state of me. Right, guys. Do you know what? I'm going to be real with you now. Today has been one of the most stressful days. Like, 
it really has like hello Ems. yeah you can't walk across that bed can you she used to walk across the headboard of my other one she's not impressed it's just been a real stressful week actually with my uncle like as much as i love him and like as a family we obviously care for him as in care for him love him it's just been so stressful there's been something every day and it feels like at the moment our life is just it doesn't matter about our life it doesn't matter about us it's all about him and sometimes that's a bit of a pill to swallow and i know that sounds like i don't care and i do i really do but sometimes you just feel like when you're not well yourself it's just you you constantly put things that you've got to do on hold and it, it sometimes you just feel a little bit stressed with it all that's all and it's just a bit it's just a bit tr bit tough sometimes that's all um and that's all it's just a bit it's just a bit tough at the moment and we're just finding it a little bit tricky and at the moment like tonight it's just been I just feel really low like real low and I just feel stressed and I just feel rubbish so yeah it's just been a bit of a bit of a day that's all but yeah it will get better that's all but yeah no it's um our neighbor that lives in the corner she, they've just had a baby so we bought them a little baby grow like three baby grows and bibs and she's just sent a picture of him wearing the baby grow that he's just had a bath and it's he's so cute <laughs> we're just like oh, and I'm squid him um so that's made us smile but yeah it's just a bit stressful for all of us at the moment so we're we're just a bit a bit blue and a bit you know we just feel a bit un unhappy and a bit stressed and we're just a bit just feeling a bit mm. but anyway on a happier note so i wasn't feeling netflix tonight i just i put it on and i just mm, wasn't interested hello hello she she comes in when i'm doing my makeup in the morning just to chase the mirror don't you yeah come and say hello to the guys yeah Come and say hello. Yeah. That's me saying hello, guys. You saying hello? Apparently. So I decided to have a little read instead. This book, guys, is really freaking good. Let Me Lie by Claire McIntosh. This is the second one I've read of hers. And I've got another one up there called I See You, Being Blinded by the Light. I see the light. But this one is brilliant. Some lies keep you safe. The, the truth could kill you. It's really good. And um, I hello. Oh, you so stunning. Two hundred and eleven pages in, and it's freaking good. So, but yeah, tomorrow we have to take my uncle to the hospital. So we're gonna do that. Oh, tired. Tired are you? Oh dear, mummy's tired too. Nanny's tired. Granddad's tired, tired family, tired pussycat. Oh, well, you're tired, you've been sleeping all day. Yeah, why are you tired, eh? Tired cat. So, thank you for listening to me, guys, and always being there for me. Um, Yeah, so, I'll let you go, and I will see you on Thursday. Happy hump day. Hello you wonderful people and welcome to Thursday's edition. However, it is not morning. It is ten to four in the afternoonage. And this is the first time I am vlogging with you. I'm so sorry. It's been a busy day. Um We've had a bit we had a bit of a disaster this morning with my uncle. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I just feel so stressed at the moment um so the carers didn't turn up to do his breakfast or wash him shower him get him dressed before we had to rush off to the hospital for his cancer appointment so yeah 
that was not good this morning so he had to quickly have a bowl of cornflakes and go in his clothes that he'd slept in which was not ideal but you know it wasn't a nightmare um i mean he had to wash and brush his teeth but it is what it is um so my mum had to phone the carers and they said well we had you know a bit of a catastrophe with the last client my mum went you do own a phone don't you <laughs> my mum weren't having no shit from them this morning um because they knew he had a cancer appointment um so then we took him to his cancer appointment that was over in like 20 minutes um then we took him back home put his washing away i got injured look his air i bit me i i said to him i'm gonna sue you where there's blame there's a claim had an injury at work uh, had a injury that wasn't your fault lately <laughs> he laughed um so yeah that kind of happened this morning then made him a roll for his lunch and took his put his what dry washing away got bitten by the air <sighs> what else did we do cleaned his side dried up a bit for him then um then i went for coffee with my dad my mum had a day off today bless her from him uh it gets a bit overwhelming sometimes if you know she gets a bit stressed so she went to asda living and had a coffee on her own and that and but she was still on the phone to the carer so she didn't really have a day off lover um they're gonna come in tonight and do his dinner um then I'm erming a lot, oh no, my dad would be impressed, <laughs> lol. Then me and my dad went for a coffee, which was nice to spend a bit of time with my dad. Then we came home, had some lunch, had an hour or so on Instagram, just watched the second part of Silent Witness, the end of the series. <laughs> Love Silent Witness. And now I'm vlogging with you guys. Um, 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 fucking um. Made me so conscious of that now. It's a git. Tomorrow I have to go somewhere in the morning that I can't tell you about yet. Yes, I'm that person. I will tell you, I promise, when things are set in stone. Then I have counselling in the afternoon. So, hmm. My mum's going to go to my uncle's tomorrow and meet with the carers. Because these new carers that they are taken over from the other ones they're not very good I've got the utmost respect for carers but they're not very good won't shower him until they've assisted him even though the other carers were showering him yeah get your noodles around that guys get your noodles around that so he's got to be assessed so it's just one thing after the other you know when you just think oh I said to my dad this morning, can we just get on a plane and fly away for about five years? Is that an option? You know? Um, it's just the kind of, like, situation where if you've got a lot of money, it's the kind of situation where money matters. And if you had millions of pounds, he could go into a really good home and be looked after and everything would be okay. But the fact that he hasn't got millions of pounds, or not even that much, it's, do you know what I mean? It's that kind of um, class thing. Um, it's just... <sighs> kind of thing where you just want your lottery numbers to come up you know what I mean where it would just relieve so much um so yeah it's just a bit of a bugbear at the moment that it is just one of them situations where it all falls down to money and the stress of everything is really not helping I know it's not helping my health um in the last sort of three weeks I've noticed my headaches are worse um, my heart conditions got worse um, I've noticed a lot of things have got worse um, and 
and you know it's just my chronic fatigue syndrome's got worse and I've just noticed these little things that are changing in your health because of the stress of that situation so it's just that kind of situation whereas if you had a money tree in your garden it would solve everything but unfortunately you don't so it's kind of that kind of situation but we do the best we ha we can with what we have um, so hopefully we've got a couple of people coming out we've got one lady coming out next week who might be able to help us a little bit more with other agencies and things like that so yeah but it's, I think it's just we've got to try and chill out a bit more as well but it's difficult when you're in that situation to not let things bother you if that makes sense so yeah, it's just been one of them weeks guys where you've just had something every day as well and that doesn't help either when you're unwell and you're tired and you know. Next week's looking pretty full too. Monday I've got my chronic fatigue syndrome appointment. Tuesday's quite a quiet day at home. I've got a haircut my hair being coloured on Tuesday so that's quite nice because it'd be like a pamper session. Um, it's... Um, something that I really look forward to, don't have done very often, um, save up for kind of thing, so that would be nice. Like I have my hair cut quite often, I have it done every four weeks, but I don't have it coloured very often, as you can tell by the state of my rootage situation. Uh, Wednesday we've got a carer lady who can refer us to other agencies coming to my uncle's at half past nine, and then the rest of the day should be free. Valentine's Day, I am going to be swamped with offers, so I mean that day is just like going to be out the window, do you know what I mean, I am going to be fucking so busy, it's going to just, you know, I have dentist, and, you know, just going to be, got so many offers flooding in, I don't know who to choose first, do you know what I'm saying, <laughs> and Friday my uncle has hospital again, so... So it's going to come pretty full again. So yeah, it's uh, another full fullish week. But I'm going to go because I've chatted the ask for you for eight minutes and you're probably thinking shut the fuck up Chloe. So I'm going to go and I will catch up with you before I go to bed. But I'm sorry that I've neglected you today. But you know when you're just like, it just wasn't feasible this morning for me to whip it out the phone. Dirty. And um, talk to you guys, so I have missed you. So I thought I'd have a little chat out with you, hence why I've been talking at you for 8 minutes 39 seconds. So I'm going to go and I will catch up with you a bit later. See you in a bit, guys. Happy Friday! It's Friday, and I am not glad to see the back of this week. Does that make sense? I will not be, yeah, you know what I mean, it's Friday. Um, we are in Borough Green at the moment, just had a coffee, and yeah, it's pissing down, and I look like a bit drunk for a head backwards. So yeah, we're just, mum and dad are just walking back from the shop, um, and then I'm going home to get my car to go to counselling, so yeah, it's all going on. So that's your little update for now. And, uh, yeah, that's what's going on, guys. So I'll catch up with you a little bit later. Guys, can you hear the wind? It is absolutely whistling. Oh, God. My dad wants me to walk all the way down the other end of the high street to get him some sweets in Rochester. Thanks, Dad. Oh, I just had to brush my hair. I look like an absolute fucking wreck it is so windy um oh, i'm fed up today i just want to go home I'm fed up now um so yeah i'm freezing cold i've got my coat but you know when you're just freezing cold um so it's 12 40 i'm just gonna go to rochester and sit in the car for a bit well, walk down and get his sweets, then sit in the car for a bit, go to counselling and I'm going home. Because <laughs> I'm fed up. <laughs> I want to go home. But I'm alright. 
I'm in quite a good mood, but you know when it's just this kind of weather where you just want to be at home in a dress gown under a blanket, like, yeah. Uh, I hope you're all having a good Friday. It's Friday. Can you hear that? Seriously, can you hear that? So, yeah. It's the great British winter. People are being literally blown around. <laughs> it is so windy. So, yeah, I've just been popped in B&M, but didn't buy anything. Don't need anything. So, yeah, nothing much happening. So, I'll catch up with you a bit later. Yes, I'm aware I look like I've been dragged for a hedge backwards, but that's because I've been out in fucking Hurricane Helen all day, and this is the result. So, that's why I look like this. And to be perfectly honest with you guys, it's 8 o'clock on a Friday, the end of the week, and I can tell you that it has been a week, and I'm tired and in pain and a little bit fed up but yeah so to be fair I just want to go to bed and I've got a hair on my back and it's really fucking me off <laughs> there you are you bastard <laughs> I found you um, so yeah I just want to go to bed but it's not socially acceptable to go to bed at quarter past eight on a Friday night not that I care but <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just feeling a bit in pain, oh, my knee is killing me, my back is killing me and I'm just a bit cheesed off tonight to be honest. Um, so I saw my lovely counsellor, I chewed her ear off about how stressed I am and everything else, she probably thinks the money ain't worth it <laughs> to be fair. But bless her, she's such a lovely lady and we get on like a house on fire and she's helped me so much. And I don't know what I'd do without her to be fair, so she's worth her weight in gold. So that was amazing. And then I went to get some petrol at Morrison's in Strood because it's cheaper. It's at like £1.15 which is still diabolically expensive for petrol. But it's cheaper than where I live, so got my petrol in the pouring rain and then I came home and oh proceeded to put pyjamas on excuse me and dressy gown had a little chat with that little beast over there who was telling me that you know she had been here all day with her nana and her granddad And uh, had some dinner, went on Instagram for a while, watched something on Netflix, and now I'm talking to you. So yeah, I'm just going to even book a cup of tea and go to bed, because I think Friday, I've had enough of Friday. So, enough this week. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, if you enjoyed, please thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a friendly comment down below. My social media is in the description box and if you have any video requests or anything then please leave them in the comments box and I will see you next week for another vloggage episode and have a great weekend guys and I will see you bright and early on Monday morning for another vloggage episode so see you soon guys.